Hey guys, it's Olivia, AKA with Love OA here. Thank you so much for all of the new subscribers. You guys know how I like to do. I just like to jump right into my videos um, because we don't have any time to waste. We got some goals to accomplish. Um, and thank you so much for all of the new subscribers. So I really wanted to do a video today to answer the question really quickly, what is a software engineer and what does a software engineer do? I know that that was a question that I had when I first started on this journey of looking into um, going to a coding boot camp. Um, I'm like, I'm going into this, but I really don't know what it is. Um, I don't know what I, I will actually be doing all day. So a software engineer is someone who builds software, architects software, builds out web applications and uh, websites. So what does all that mean? So uh, to put it in a very real sense, you have websites that end users use um, or that the public end users use, which are like Facebook and Instagram and forever21.com. We're all very familiar with those different websites and software engineers actually create the code to put, um, to um, have those, uh, those websites manifest onto an actual computer screen. But, Behind all of that is a lot of internal software that businesses use. For example, forever21.com is a site that you're using, but within the Forever 21 company, there's probably software that they use internally to track inventory, to track their employees, to track their numbers, um, all those different types of things. And that's something that software engineers do um, that most people probably wouldn't realize that the bulk of our job is creating things that the, the general public, public probably wouldn't see. And so what that means is a computer speaks a certain type of language and humans speak a certain type of language. So essentially we are the middleman. We learn how to speak to the computers and at a very basic level, computers speak a, a, bi a bi binary language, the zeros and the ones that you see on the matrix, right? So the languages that we code in, the JavaScript, um, the C Sharp, the um, uh, Ruby on Rails, all these different languages are the highly or the abstracted version of that language. So that at the, if you can think of like, um, like a, a, a line here, at the very bottom of that vertical line, this is zeros and ones, if you go up a level, you have the languages that compile down to the zeros and ones. And on top of the languages, then you have just the human language. So as software engineers, we're speaking to the computer and the programming languages, which eventually compiles down into the zeros and ones. And some languages are more highly abstracted, meaning closer to the English language, or lower abstracted, which means it's closer to like, you're actually writing out zeros and ones, or you're writing out weird funky things that you really can't make out. You really can't, like in JavaScript, you can make out um, some English words, um, or words that we use on a daily basis, more low, um, lower abstracted languages, it's it's kind of like, what? It's more abstract, um, obviously. Let's see, so yeah, so I think I answered what a software engineer does. We're building software, we're building websites, um, we're building public websites, we're building internal websites, I'm sorry, we're building public websites, we'll be, we're building internal web applications. Um, and, Here's a good question. What's the difference between a software engineer and a developer or a programmer? A developer or a program is so programmer is someone who actually codes out um, based on what a software engineer architects. So a, a software engineer um, can look at a problem or look at a feature and come up with the plan design a solution and code it out. So the software engineer is coming up with the plan, coming up with the solution and, and coding it out versus a programmer and developer, um, they're just coding it out and an engineer tells them the solution. I think that's it guys. I wanted to keep this quick and concise. Please let me know if you have any additional questions and I'm happy to answer them. Bye. <laughs>